Welcome back to the Black Frog episode. Well, I mean, this is episode three, I suppose, in terms of recording, but uh, mission two, the portrait, episode two, mission two. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to number these. I don't think it matters. It'll be all consecutive. I don't get the feeling that the Black Frog is a super long. I mean, I mean, there's five missions. Portrait room, control room. Okay. Can I pick this? Oh, of course not. Got a lot of uh, so cellar. Cellar. Portrait room, control room. I think it needs a key as well. There's a lot of keys we need. I mean, maybe it's all just the one key that we've got to find somewhere. Notice, but uh, Garrett needs uh, his eyes checked. He can't read it from here. Oh. here or what? No, it's going to look. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, good news is it just tried to shoot me. <laughs> Man, it's making sure that it, maybe it thinks that pillar is me. Maybe it just wants to give the pillar a hug. Maybe the pillar is lonely. Well, the good news is it's uh, I guess it just tries to shoot me and doesn't set off an alarm. Could have been a lot worse. I should check out those barrels too. I haven't actually explored much of the cellar because I was looking for a place to sit. Maybe I should follow it. Maybe that would actually give me a much better idea of its patrol path because it caught me quite by surprise there. I did not expect to see it coming that way. Maybe I should follow what he says and then doesn't take his own advice. Right, and now it's going back. Oh, and I guess it turns right out of there. No, it's going to the left. Yeah, because it comes in from the left here. And then where does it go? Ah, I see. Right. Okay, so there's a camera in there and metal flooring. Where has that thing gone? The so cellar has a camper as well. Okay, I think I know how that thing patrols sufficiently well. We're gonna need a key, a couple of keys, all right. I guess, you're gonna have to come back there. God, more noisy floors. Hmm. 
I'm gonna actually spend the moss here, because, uh... What the hell is that? Some kind of transmitter? I hear people coming and going, but I don't know if anyone walks through this room, and I want to be sure before I go running out into light. Because I do not see an easy place to retreat to. Except this corner that I'm in. I guess this is corner. Not very good. Dear Anselm, lately you may have noticed that Sir Gary Valley has not really been himself. And as my husband's brother, and I know that you two are very close, I think that this, this fact is known to you. No, do not think that I'm complaining again of yet another legendary angry outburst from my husband. This is much more serious. He locks himself up more and more frequently in his studio in the basement, and when he finally comes out of his lair, it is only to offer a dark, emotionless face that I do not recognise. I worry a lot about his mental health, but even my prayers to the Builder have no effect on his mood. Anselm, it is this woman, I know. It is because I've heard that my husband is killing himself walking in his studio, putting all his energy on some mysterious work that makes him crazier every day. Since this girl set foot in this house, everything has been different. Vincenzo has changed, become secretive, excited and depressed at the same time. And above all, he shows an obsessive fascination for this young woman. When I speak of fascination, it is not about the sins of the flesh, it's something else. Something much more serious and sordid. This girl is a heretic, I tell you. A demon sent from hell. This horrible woman arrived here for the first time one October evening and asked to see my husband. And since then, those two have been secretly planning something. Vincenzo has even painted a picture of this woman and hung the portrait in one of the collection rooms. He has installed special security systems to protect this damned painting. I dare not venture in the collection rooms anymore because I feel the eyes of the portrait staring at me and following me continually. I say this girl is the devil. Moreover, after the last time that witch left the manor, all the clocks have gone crazy. You don't have to take the word of a senile old woman, either. Ask my servants if they have, if they have witnessed the same phenomenon. This bizarre event occurred after a violent altercation between Vincenzo and this girl. Unfortunately, I don't know what it was about. It happened one evening. I'd already gone to bed when I heard noises coming from Miss Victor's bedroom. I tried to listen at the door, but without success, as the noise of the furniture being thrown around covered the sound of the voices. Then, concerned about protecting my own life, I left quickly. I only know that this discussion, a very stormy discussion to say the least, ended with the departure of the raging girl. May the builder be praised, she remembered to take her damned servant with her. That man makes my blood freeze with his veiled eyes that seem to search your soul. What an odd man this giant is. He always wears a kind of hood that conceals his face, and I've never heard him say a word. Well, I am digressing. Still, I urge you, Anselm, in the name of the love that you have for your brother, to come here as soon as possible and try to reason with him regarding his obsession with this girl. May the Builder have mercy, Anselm. When I was about to see the letter, I received more distressing news. Vincenzo arrived back from home from a trip, locked himself away in one of the manor towers, and refuses to open the door for anyone. Almighty Builder, I fear the worst. I beg you, Anselm, come here quickly. The life of your brother is in your hands. You alone are able to reason with him. Best regards, Lady Garivaldi. Well, that's a lot of information. So Garivaldi locked in the... Okay, clocks... Pulled by which? Um, we had an East Tower. Oh, something else as well. Security systems, blah blah. Ah, yes. Uh, tall, mysterious. Creepy hooded servant. Right. Mail dispatch. Thanks for that clank, Karen. I guess I should have jumped at my moss. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to come this way. Well, we should try and get into the East Tower then, but apparently it was sealed up, or was they were tried to seal it up? Hmm. Well, no, she wanted them to seal up, and they hadn't done it yet. Okay, so we just head east through the hall here.
Even that clock has gone crazy. Um, also, there's an antenna thing here. Been here already. Disposed of some uh, people that interrupted me. He's coming in here, isn't he? He doesn't disturb my attempt to uh, approach the west tower here. Put the guard in the tower, or is that okay? West tower needs a key. East tower, sorry, east tower needs a key. All right. Um, I really should go check out that chapel, shouldn't I? Lady Garibaldi's chapel. He's not going in, he's just checking it out, all right. There's something on the table over there. I guess I can go look at that too. Hello? Anyone there? Nothing there. Weird. Garden shed, another rope arrow. Hello, and another moss. That's nice. Okay, so the chapel is locked as well. This is probably so far the worst key hunt I've ever had. It's like I've just got locked doors and locked doors, and not a single key. Oh, no, I have the chapel key. Full Garrett. Absolutely. I picked it up a pocket. This looks awfully familiar. Oh, slightly fancier than the than the chapel in the town. Can I? No, not without standing on something. Maybe I can do a running jump in it. Let's try. Wait till he's not right outside the door and might hear me. Okay. Alright, remember that, that bit you when you were supposed to jump? There we are. Oh, there's no banner there. That's not the statue of the builder. This chapel is uh, this 
Seems less holy than it might be. Let's have a look up here. What is what is going on up here? Hello? Aha. Uh -huh. I suppose I could probably have just moved that aside, but you know. Oh. This is the West Tower. Is it not? East Tower, rather. I'm so confused, I don't know which way is which. Make a little stack of boxes. Yes. That's where I just was. Okay. So we need a key, but maybe we'll find it in here. But, um... There we are, tower key. There's a knife on the floor. There's a fallen over chair, but there's not a sign of a body. By the builder, it hurts. She had warned me and me. I did not listen. I did not want to hear. And the cold, this cold deep inside my gut. This reaper looks at me again and again. It was delighted when I fell into the abyss and it laughs while my poor head is at the mercy of my sins. I'm cold. I saw I saw these poor souls corroded by the acid stench emanating from their bodies. It seems that they have been there for ages. I do not want to stay with them. No, I beg you, do not leave me with them. I never went back on the island. No, never. Not true. These visions are only part of my imagination. I never touched the mirror. The black frog has never welcomed me into its world. Lies. So why am I so cold? Why do I feel a part of me eludes me and that I cannot sleep? Or when I do, it's only to have horrible nightmares. I saw things so horrible there. But was it real or a dream created by my bruised brain? And why am I here now, back in my manor? I do not remember. I only remember the sweet face of Emily leaning on me. Emily, my lady of the shadows. Oh no, no, go away! I hear the laughter of the monster and the groans of the damned. I do not want to sleep. When I sleep, I go back there to its kingdom. I thought at first that only a scientific curiosity led me to cross the forbidden. But today, right now, I know it is not. I succumbed to the madness so that many men that so many men before me did. A madness called greed. I am like Belmont, too cowardly and stupid. Oh no, do not touch me. Even the act of writing cannot comfort me any more. The crazy shadows are always there, and their featureless figures laugh at my dismay. Go away, stinking servant of the demon. Beside me is a blade that will finally bring me to a rest without dreams, but I dare not yet. Builder! Ah! Keep it away from me! The black frog wants to take me away into its world full of suffering and pain. It reaches for me with deformed hands. Oh, Emily, please protect me! I'm burning the portrait. The image of my beloved Emily. Burning it, yes, so no one ever finds this cursed island again. This little piece of hell lost in the middle of the oceans. I think I wrote somewhere on a parchment the code to opening the gate protecting the painting. Oh, Builder, why did I do that? Anyone could find it and end up damned. I'm... I... But where is this parchment? Here? I... I don't know. I am like Belmont. Who? You're not Belmont? Who are you? Well, we have cheese. That's... Bread and cheese. That's always good. What's up on this upper shelf? book that's not readable and some crates. I mean, I guess I could always stack crates to find out what's on the upper shelf, right? <laughs> the book is not readable, okay. I don't see a parchment here unless it's around the bed. Well, let's leave these on the bed so they're out of the way. I guess we keep going up. Oh. <laughs> Hello? The portrait. How many times have I passed before this face? How many dreams have I not mentioned before this mystery? This woman, this child, so fragile and so terrible at the same time. What is she hiding behind that face? Look, 
What terrifying force lurks in the depths of her soul, hampering that freedom and spontaneity so natural for her age. I did this painting to probe her sad eyes and try to unlock their mysteries, and I will do everything to protect this portrait from intruders that their vulgar ignorance lead them to crime. I also hid a secret so I don't forget that place I've seen, or rather, got a glimpse of. So my treacherous memory never forgets that feeling of wonder and fear that I felt over there. I want to remember this place, where revelation was just beyond my grasp, because a lot of things have been hidden from me and I want to understand. With the map that I've imprinted on the back of the portrait, I can find the way to the island. And then, if the truth finally makes sense, I can die in peace. Emily, will she always be a mystery to me? Ah yes, the code is... Z. Here's some interesting news. Alright. Trying to discover more about the mysterious portrait. It has a map to a mysterious island. So we've traded one mystery for another. Learn more about this mysterious case, yes. Uh, I have no idea what the Breath of Karis actually is. That's uh, looking out over the front gate. Okay, let's take a quick look up here. <laughs> Doesn't look like there is anything, does it? No. Alright, well... What does Emily Victor have to do with all this? Wait, where was the way down? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I didn't see it. So I've got the key now. I might as well unlock this door. Okay. Starting to get some keys. It's the X. Because that's the greenhouse. Oh, no, that's the greenhouse. That's the, that's the bathroom. Right? The outhouse. Right, 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 right. Okay. So he's dead, but what do we do about that? I don't think there was anything else in the chapel. I guess we go upstairs. Oh wait, uh, would he have a key to the, the key on his body? A key to this workshop? Didn't really look too closely, did I? Well, I would have hoped so. A key to his apartment. I mean, is this Belmont or not? Wait, no, wait, but... No! I'm an idiot. I'm getting confused. Is this Gary Valdi or not? He wrote about being like Belmont. Belmont is the guy who hired us. Wow, it's very sunken eyes. I thought he was wearing glasses for a but no, it's a deeply sunken eye. So there is no key. So it's a knot, it's a barrel hoop. There's uh, some magical uh, floating crates that we are fixed. Okay, well, we've got a code. The code unlocks the. Uh, so I guess it is Z, right? Z is the code, but how do we do Z? B C E T H maybe? Hmm. Not convincing me. <gasps> Did I take my rope back from here? I do not. Do I want to search the chapel anymore? I mean, I guess I might as well, right? <laughs> we have wood up here. Maybe there's something up here as well. Worth checking out. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Invisibility potion, okay, well... 
Who knows, it might come in handy. Let's reattach that. It's going to hurt, isn't it? Hang on, let's try and... Uh... Well, maybe it wouldn't. It's actually... Just slightly lower rope that we can climb. We can grab from slightly further down. There we are, perfect. Quite silent and not painful. Nothing. Well, seems clear. Did I go down that corner of the garden? I started there. <laughs> What's that I see? Nothing. weird, isn't it? Really, really, really weird. Okay. Plan. Plan. I don't know. I don't have direction to go. We have the code, but it's not enough by a long way. We need keys. Surely a secret there, but I don't know how to get to it. Where are we? In the dining room. Something in the library, right? Does the library give access to his apartment? Let's get back to the library. So we just head west and then back east. Pull this guy out. Through the noisy room that caused us so much trouble before. the patio with the collections room I never went west out of here did I? oh it's the stairway Library. Because if we look at the upper floor, the library does adjoin his apartment. So if we look at the western side, that's got to be a doorway. It's got to be a secret doorway there. How? Lost it open. I mean, that's just a vase. It's not a switch. Is there a switch hiding on that anywhere? Does not appear so. Maybe I should take another close look at that statue. Well, that was me somehow falling off the ladder. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Let's leave the statue then. We should not make noise here. Not yep, that clock is also broken. Alright, what have we got? Muted garden key. Beckman's note. So, here is my daily report. 
We found a man who did not belong to this house lurking in the basement, close to the grid leading to the controls of the surveillance camera for the portrait room. That man was completely dressed in black, stealthy type clothes. At the moment, Barnaby is questioning him. And you know Barnaby, he isn't a gentle man. Trust me, in less than an hour, our intruder will throw up his entrails, cry for his mother, and admit who he works for. You were telling me, just before we nailed this guy, that the small key which opens that grid had disappeared. I am wondering if it wasn't this guy who could have stolen that key. Joe told me that just before he arrested him, he saw the guy swallow something, like a small object. Have mercy, sir. Please don't ask me to open his guts and search in his intestines. If that is the case, I'd like you to ask Mitchell. He likes that kind of stuff, but as for myself, I may throw up. Part 2 of the report. Barnaby has done a great job. That guy is nothing less than a spy working for Belmont. But I don't think this is a surprise to you. By the way, Barnaby went a little bit too far, and the guy did not survive. Too bad for him. We brought him discreetly to the Garden of the Muses, where you would like to rest. I know you won't be happy, but uh, we couldn't think of a better idea. What should we do with him now? Bury him, or throw his body in the sewer leading to the channel? El Vecman, Chief of the Guard. Okay, so... Uh... Well, we're going there next, right? Body. Key? Sewer exit? Maybe that's my maybe that's my way out, not the front gate. Nobody. What's all this? Poor fool. I imagine for a moment what you're trying to undertake. Such nonsense. Travelling all over the world as a black frog isn't child's play. You'll get lost like so many others have. It will devour you. And that's all you deserve. So do not expect to put one foot on the island. From now on, you are not welcome. Basil is watching you. He and his men will throw you in your tiny boat and send you back to the coast without mercy. But if you persist, it will be easy for you to evade the traps of the tower since you and I created them. The worst will come later. The Black Frog will welcome you in its cold embrace in which your senses will become numb from an endless nightmare. Go wander through that universe and learn again and again, because that seems to be the absolute goal of your life. But I know that this trip will be your last, as it will lead you to the end of yourself. So are you ready? Are you ready to face yourself and to welcome this truth into your corrupted soul? A truth without any compassion about your real nature? If that is the case, go on, stubborn old man, if folly is tempting you so much. But know that I will be holding the mirror myself. E. Victor. You can't hide forever. That's the apartment door, so maybe we'll find the key to the apartment in here. The clock ticking way too fast as well as a nice touch. Yes. What the hell? They know about the secret entrance? Surely they're not supposed to know about the secret entrance. Alright, where are you? Just make one mistake! Imagining things now. He's going back out that door because it's unlocked now. It's kind of funny. Fight me, you! <laughs> so they come in through the secret entrance and then go out through the other door. It wasn't trying to rile him up, it was just like, okay, now he's gonna go out through the secret door. I just I just find this hilarious. But when he comes down, he This is the only one that he can operate now. Come out and face me, villain. 
Well, good thing I've got coffee here. Here you go. Not so secret then. Alright, let's uh, leave these unlocked for my own convenience. You know what? I don't think we need the key there anymore. Okay, and I don't think we need the tower key or the chapel key. Just keep my inventory nice and short. Alright. Guess that's where we're going next. It's the Muse's Garden. What is the quickest way to get there? Well, out, out this way. Back to the library. Can we close this again from up here? No. What do we see there? Muffin. Garden of the Muses. Is that Will? I don't suppose I'm going to need the key again. Well, I'll hang on to it for the present. Get rid of it on the way out if I don't need it. around pretty quickly. Secret exit key, okay. What's there? Is it the... Oops. I need to lean through the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Bright on the other side. Let's just scout. I think this is just going to be our way out and nothing more. There's this, like, Garrett has a voice line for this from uh, Mage Towers, which would have been good to have say, but never mind. So, what am I going to do about this guy? I want to go down there where he's walking. Oh, I can, can I go out <coughs> through there? No, that's all barred up. I guess I can just run behind his back. Expect someone to be there who I couldn't see, who could see me playing like who? Vecman. And unnamed, okay. Well, this is what I kept bought healing potions for, so it's okay. The cut will just 
seal up like magic. It's like immensely bright here. It's just, I don't know why I'm, you know, absolutely, it's like I'm standing right underneath a street light and stuff right here. But I guess it's fine, whatever. Oh, we got more, more water arrows. Not that I've needed many, I've been, you know, being, being sparse with them. Hello. Is there a passageway down there? Well, let's have a look at the body. Ah, oh, do I have to cut him open? Rubbing it and nothing's happening, but it lights up. Just to do that. All right, let's check out this passage then. Oh, well, the passage is just some coins. I mean, it's a little indentation. So really, there's nothing else down there. I didn't miss any coins. Very weird, because uh, it's, it's quite strange. But okay. No coins in these. Worth checking, I guess. Coins are sometimes like really hard to see until they highlight, so. Wait, Beckman, did you, did you? The cash have had a key, right? Which one's Beckman? Do you have a key on you? No. And you were the guy patrolling up and down, and you just. That's fine, okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, was there something behind the statue? No, it's just this guy's sword, right? Alright. Yeah, okay. Ugh, what a mess. What a... what a... Alright. What? I feel like this should be doing something. I do wonder if this is a bug. Maybe there's some script that isn't working properly or something. Maybe we didn't mention any scripts. External script needing installed. I've read about the thing, right? It's all about Karis' breath, but uh, the note about this guy is not one that I could pick up. Do I hit him with my blackjack? Do I shoot fire arrow at him? I don't have a fire arrow. I have one broad, oh, two broad heads. I don't think I'm supposed to run along the hedges. Since I wasn't allowed to mantle them. Because if you can't get on the hedges, why do you have a window here that you can see through? Oops. But then this feels <laughs> definitely not like the right way to get on the hedges. Still, I don't think this gets me anywhere. <laughs> Except up on this roof. And looking up at that gargoyle. Well, I've reached the Garden of the Muses and I seem to have hit a dead end. And it's. I could call it here, but it's very short for the episode. I don't want to have to pause and look up 
I mean, something is supposed to happen when I throw him, right? I think again, I have to look it up. So I'm throwing him and nothing, nothing happens. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing at all. All right, I'm going to look it up. Okay. I am supposed to have an item to use here. Look, I've got a great big bloody sword. You know, this a tool designed for opening holes in people's bodies. You would think... You'd think that would be sufficient, but no, nope, it was not set up that way. I have to find something specific. All right, I know roughly where to look to, so. Uh, so we just go somewhere I haven't been before, I guess. Search the kitchen and the servants' quarters. Uh, through the bloody patio again. All right, but it, like at least I've got... Uh, There's nothing there. At least I've got, I've got moss arrows, I might as well use them, right? Alright, so which way? Which way am I going? North? South, out the past year. Where's he going? Flipping back and forth there. Why the servants' quarters have a noisy floor? I suppose it's easy to clean. I guess I'm not going in that room just yet. That guy. Alright, lucky for me, he's a little bit blind. Hello. Marianne's diary. I was hired today at the Garibaldi Manor. I hope that the masters will not be too hard on me. Sir Garibaldi is nice. Actually, we almost never see him as he spends his time in his studio inventing things. On the other hand, I shudder at his mean wife. Lady Garibaldi is a real parent. The other day I had to scrub the chapel floor three times. A chapel where nobody ever goes except, of course, her. What a fanatic! Master Builder here, Master Builder there. It tires me. I like Gilles. He is sweet and he has good manners. He also has an important position in the manor. He's the servant's manager. His status allows him to have most of the keys of the house. It is known if one wants to assess the importance of a servant, it is always about the number of keys he has. And Gilles has a lot. He has the key to Sir Gary Valdi's workshop. It's a place where few people are allowed to go. The master is very secretive about his inventions. Gilles is only allowed in to clean the studio and sometimes he brings a cup of tea to the master. Today we had a visit from a young woman. Mitchell told me it was not her first visit here. She seems nice, yet something about her makes me uncomfortable. I think it's her eyes. Her eyes, they are weird. I don't know how to explain it. She talks a lot, spends a lot of time with the master. I would give anything to know what they are talking about together. And then there's also her servant, a huge, strange guy. He never speaks, and his face is hidden by a hood. He makes me shudder. He looks like an executioner come straight from hell. He refused the room that Sir Garibaldi offered him for his stay. He slept on the doorstep of his young mistress's room down the hall, on the cold floor like a faithful dog guarding his master. Emily, that woman. I was skeptical, but now I'm sure. She is mad. Oh, I was scared. She argued with the master in his room. There was shouting and the noise of furniture being overturned. She left in anger. I did not think that she was capable of such violence. She seemed so composed. Since then, the master never leaves his quarters. He doesn't even go to his workshop anymore. Lady Garibaldi is very upset, and this additional stress does not help her temper. 
What happened between the master and that woman? He seems to care about her so much that he keeps her portrait in the collection room. I heard that the master did that painting himself. The master hasn't showed up yet. Anyway, he has been acting strange since returning from his trip. I have a feeling that this is all related to Emily. The master locked himself up in the tower. He has become crazy and he doesn't want to open to anyone. Jill asked me to meet him tonight. I've been expecting this for a while. His flirtatious glances and smiles were signs that he was attracted to me. I was just wondering when he would finally dare to declare his love to me. So Jill has workshop key. Okay. It's interesting that we haven't seen... Oh, I haven't... Have I been in these bedrooms? No, I haven't. So one of those bedrooms would be in Emily's bedroom. I say it's interesting I haven't seen a room that would be... That could be Emily's bedroom, but I guess... I guess I know where to look. How far away is our wandering friend? There. I guess it's it stopped to contemplate for a minute. Alright, let's check out the kitchen. Hello. Water arrow, you know? Nice. I've only got what? Two moss arrows. I think I want to keep them because I might need them for the treasure room. Collections room, you know. God, he's coming back here already. Warm yourself by the fire. Make me wait. That's right. My coffee's run out. That makes me upset and you know, more likely to use this in anger. Alright, go about your business. And stay away from me. For long enough. Just give me enough time to explore here and search for valuables. stuck? Oh no, am I, am I actually properly stuck here? <laughs> right. Mm. Well, at least I'm not visible. <laughs> I'm using the unstuck key from, from New Dark, but it's not getting me properly unstuck. I think a couple more presses might get me on the edge of the sink. Till he's not here because I might start clanging on the floor. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, New Dark, for the unstick key. I don't have to use it very often, but. Uh... Guess what I do? It's worth its weight in whatever keys are made of. Plastic. Hello. How's that? That's what I was trying to do. Wow. Restless much? this one. I'll make sure we've just got two ropes to get decent angles I suppose to see inside the cupboards. Oh I see. 
I'd say angle is the second, the location of the second cupboard all wrong. Not you. Not you. No. Carrot. Grab the valuable ones. <sighs> Try this again. Because I thought maybe there's something more in the cupboard. I didn't have quite the right angle to the side of it that I wanted. Hmm. Sit and wait for him again. I don't want to be spotted as I'm robbing the kitchen. That would be a little ignominious. I'm spotted while robbing something someplace important, but you know, I guess it's still not great. It's still like well. Less competent than a master thief should be. No, okay, that's it. Right. You're just walking on the spot or what? Okay, so we just came out of the kitchen. Right. Servants' quarters, okay. Strange, it took two hits. Did you hear that? What happened here? Jill, what happened to the Garibaldi? After he came back from the island, I gave you the task of watching over him. Have you fulfilled your duty? I had requested that you keep sight of him at all times. Now I've learned that Gary Valdi, fleeing his room one night, locked himself up in one of the towers, and since then it is impossible to know what's going on with him. Gilles, what were you doing? What was more important that night than watching over your master? Alas, I think that the lovely Marianne distracted you from your mission. Yes, I know about Marianne. Gary Valdi is not what he used to be. I hope that you have noticed. So there is one thing that I recommend, Gilles, is that you find a way to open that damn door and rescue your master alive. I wish it, for your own sake, and stop telling me that the key went missing. A simple iron door is not an army. There's always a way to get past it. So just one more excuse, Jill. Just one more action revealing your cowardice. And I will let my dogs convince you of the misery of your existence. I guess that's what we heard. Emily's dogs. Did he flee out the window? Oh, I can... Almost get out. But not quite. Alright, what was that? Is someone there? Okay. Hey. Just make one mistake. You know what? If he comes in here, I've got nowhere to hide. They shouldn't see me up here. Oh, well. They're not losing the blood. I suppose that's... That's not good, bad. Are you 
What are you doing, man? Just, just standing there. Contemplating the brew. I think he was playing his conversation that he was supposed to have in front of the fire. Okay, can I? <laughs> have my rope back, thank you. All right. Now let's come back in here. Moss arrow, thank you. Nice. Is this Jill's room? Oh, we have, a, we have a note. We have more plots. My dear lover, at midnight, wait for me near the secret entrance which leads to the channel. Is there anything more romantic than making love in this charming garden that you call the Garden of the Muses? And bring me red flowers. You know how I love them. They are the colour of passion. Kisses, kisses all over my lovely. Amour. Your Dara. Loving, loving, loving you so much. Amour, amour. We saw some flowers in that garden. A scroll. Vekman. There are three devices that protect the portrait. The camera in the portrait room. The electrified floor in the portrait room. The control panel to open the grid protecting the portrait. Ensure that access to these devices is guarded with the utmost vigilance. Sir Gary Foley. Well, this is Vekman's room, not Jill's room. So, Jill was supposed to have the workshop key, but... Uh... I'm, I'm a little confused now. I don't really remember who was who and what. So. I thought that searching the kitchen and the servants' rooms was going to get me what I was missing. The item that we needed in the Muses' garden. But apparently not. Let's look in here again a little, uh, just, just to be on the safe side. No, nothing. But then what? I guess there's a the bedrooms upstairs still st still to search. And that's all. We've been we've got that key. Hmm. It's also this possible secret. Mm -hmm. I searched the kitchen, I didn't find anything, right? Well... What I will do, actually, is... Um, in the episode here, double check those directions that I was given to see if they make sense to me, and otherwise... Well, we'll head up to the bedrooms next. And uh, I'll see you then.